now that we have a, a Volt 360 scan and we've got our printout in front of us, we can go through the scan. So what I'm going to do is explain how we would explain it and in what order and then what each part actually means. So we'll start with the name, height, weight, age and gender at the top. Again, making sure that this is very consistent, especially your height, age and gender. We need them to be inputted correctly. Now if we go down, you'll see under the composition section of the scan, there is numbers on the left hand side of the boxes. That's the order in which we go through these boxes. So first one being lean body mass. Within our lean body mass we have skeletal muscle mass, so that's just the skeletal muscle, so the muscle that's acting on your skeletal system. We have protein, which is the core of your cells, or nitrogen retention, this is what it's measured in. Then we have mineral, which is mineral bone weight, not density. And then we have total body water. So breaking these down in more detail, what we have is on the right hand side of all these boxes, we have reference ranges from the World Health Organization based on someone your height, your age and your gender. So that's how the Evolt is more specific to you. Your result is on the left hand side and then you will have either displayed optimal, under or high. Now that's comparing to those reference ranges. So what we normally explain to people is that, especially people that may be say overweight, now they got overweight by over consuming food, being in a surplus. What tends to happen with that is they also put on muscle mass. So they will quite often be high down the lean body mass side. Now that's a good thing because it is associated with that, their metabolism and it's therefore easier for them to lose fat. Then we move on to the body fat mass side. So body fat mass is your total body fat in kilos. Again, you have the optimal under or high. So down this section, we ideally want to be in the optimal or under. Again, it can be goal specific. If someone is trying to put on muscle and they are in the optimal or under side, we need to let them know that that is not necessarily an optimal way to build muscle because they are in a deficit. So under body fat mass, we have subcutaneous fat mass. So that's the external body fat, the visual fat. Most people, that's the one they're concerned with. So again, we have a, a weight in kilos or pounds, and we have a percentage in the brackets on the right hand side. Then we move to the visceral fat mass. So again, in kilos or pounds first, and then in the percentage on the right hand side. So visceral fat is the fat stored around our internal organs. And then we have the visceral fat area. So this area is measured in centimeters squared. So basically, if we were to take all the visceral fat out from inside, and lay it on a piece of paper, it would be that measurement centimetre squared. So again, that's being compared to the reference ranges in the brackets with an optimal under or high. Then totaling that up down the bottom there, we have our total body fat percentage. So that's taking into account both your subcutaneous and your visceral. Again, with an optimal under or high within the reference ranges on the side there. As I stated earlier on in the training, body fat percentage will fluctuate with body weight because it is only your body fat mass as a percentage of your body weight. So the visceral fat area will bring up a visceral fat level. Now this one will be shown as optimal, balanced or over range. Then we come down to our intra and extracellular fluid. So again, this is associated with where, our, where the water on our body, our total body water is stored. So whether it's inside the cell or outside the cell. Typically speaking, the human body will store one third of its total body water outside the cell and two thirds inside the cell. Inside the cell is what makes up our muscle. So again, under optimal or high when compared with the reference ranges on the side there. Then we go to basal metabolic rate. So that's our metabolism at a rest for a 24 hour period. So basically no work whatsoever laying for a 24 hour period, that is the calories your body needs to maintain its same composition. Then we go to total energy expenditure. This is now a calculation on top of your basal metabolic rate for you to get up and perform normal duties, not actually including extra exercise. I'll get on to it and explain that within the app later, how we can be more precise with our calories and actually put our exercise level into the app and then we can get exactly how many calories to consume for our goals and our body type. Next we have our biological age. So that biological age is pulling data from this composition part of the scan. So it's looking at your hydration status, it's looking at your internal body fat levels, external body fat levels, muscle mass, 
and then that's going to give you an internal biological age to compare with your physical age. Then we have our BWI score, which is our bio wellness index. So that's an overall score out of 10 based on the same thing. Then we move on to our segmental analysis. Segmental analysis is looking at our body balance between the left side and the right side of the body and the upper and lower parts of the body. So if we go into it, we have our lean mass and fat mass on our left and right arms. Now lean mass, when it says lean mass, that's incorporating everything I went through at the top. It's everything but fat mass. So it is your skeletal muscle, your protein, your mineral, and your total body water. And then we have your fat mass. So again, it is shown as an under, optimal or high when compared to the reference ranges. Same on the right hand side. Then we go through the torso, it's the same. And then the left and right legs. So talking about the body balance, we have the upper and lower. Now, sometimes that can be shown as an unbalanced result. Typically that'll be seen in people that play maybe lower body dominated sports or even more so females where their arms may be under compared with the lean mass with the reference range and their legs may be optimal or high. Again, this isn't necessarily good or bad. It is goal specific based on what they want to do. If their goal is to get bigger arms and they're under, then obviously that's something they would work on. The more important one is your left to right. Left to right when it's looking at the arms and legs if we are unbalanced in this section, meaning we're dominating or overusing one side of our body, that could lead to injury down the track. So that's something we want to work on bringing back in line. The last part is your nutrition. So this goes through and shows macronutrient data based on the questionnaire you filled out on the scan itself. So when you filled out the questionnaire, the first question was, what is your goal? So either to build muscle, lose fat or better health. The next question was, what is your body type? Now, the three main genotype body types, ectomorph, mesomorph, and endomorph. Ectomorph is typically someone that has always been quite lean, quite skinny, never really had a problem with body fat, even when they didn't have a particularly good diet, well suited to cardio exercise. Endomorphs is somebody that did need to watch what they ate because they put on body fat, but they also typically got quite strong in the gym quite quickly. So they were able to build muscle and unfortunately put on fat quite easy. Mesomorph is between those. It is someone that basically can build muscle easy and lose fat quite easily. We're all a mixture of these two, but we just look at our tendencies as we've been growing up and pick the one we're closest to. After we've picked our body type, then we're picking how often we exercise, how many times, how active we are. Each box that you click on will actually show you a description of what you've clicked on. Then we go into the what type of exercise it was, which is either cardio, weights resistance, a mixture of both, etc. Then when you do your scan, it will actually print out your calories based on your goals, the protein, carbohydrates and fat intake per day for someone your body type with your goals, exercising as much as you are and also a list of supplements that's preferred for you. The scan sheet has all the info on the back of the scan. We recommend reading through this four or five times and getting really familiar with this before you go through it with someone.